Broadway has its Tony Awards. Music has the Grammys. Science has the Nobel Prize. And the Academy Awards recognize achievements in film. Welcome to the 2012 Buncombe Awards, recognizing the lowlights in educational research for the past year. The word Buncombe comes from Buncombe County in North Carolina. Buncombe County produced a congressman, Representative Felix Walker, who gained infamy back in 1820 for delivering a particularly meaningless, irrelevant, and seemingly endless speech. Thus, Buncombe became a word for long-winded nonsense of the kind often seen in politics and today in education. Hello, I'm Kevin Wellner of the National Education Policy Center at the University of Colorado, known as NEPC. At NEPC, our interdisciplinary group of scholars believe that taxpayers who finance public education deserve smart policies based on sound evidence. Unfortunately, a lot of so-called think tanks working in the field of education are producing something much different. Half-baked opinions supported by weak evidence or no evidence at all. Our winners are the special cases that shine through as prime exemplars of incompetent research. This year, we have four winners. The Three's a Harm Award goes to the Friedman Foundation for Educational Choices Report, the School Staffing Surge, Decades of Employment Growth in America's Public Schools. This report from the Friedman Foundation hits the bunkum trifecta with its inaccurate information, erroneous reasoning, and sheer audacity. The report's authors, for example, attack the purported wastefulness of smaller class sizes, but apparently like schools with those small class sizes when they're overseas or in private school settings. Small class sizes are only bad and wasteful when they are in public schools. And, this being the Friedman Foundation, the report's conclusion, of course, calls for increased school choice, which has pretty much nothing to do with the report's data. Find out more about the lowlights of the Friedman Foundation study at this website. Our next award, which we title, Trust Us, There's a Pro-Voucher Result Hiding in Here Somewhere, is given to the Brookings Institution for their report, The Effects of School Vouchers on College Enrollment. Experimental Evidence from New York City. This study searches far and wide for any possible evidence of the benefits of some school vouchers that were dispensed years ago in New York City. The report's authors generally came up empty and had to acknowledge that the vouchers had only a tiny insignificant impact, but they went on to trumpet a cherry-picked finding from one type of result from one sub subgroup, college attendance for African Americans. Exploring a data set and looking for potentially interesting results is fine, but these types of findings raise questions. They don't provide answers. And readers shouldn't be misled into thinking that it's anything more. As our reviewer explained, contrary to how it was presented, the main finding of this report should be that the estimated college enrollment rates of students with and without vouchers were not different from one another. Anyone who read the hype accompanying this report's release, however, knows that this is not how the results were presented. The Brookings researchers searched for shreds of evidence to support their voucher advocacy, and they then misleadingly publicized those cherry-picked results. Learn more at this web address. Next on our list, the Noblesse Oblige Award is presented to the Public Agenda Foundation for What's Trust Got to Do With It? A communications and engagement guide for school leaders tackling the problem of persistently failing schools. It's often not an easy thing to convince people to do things against their common sense and best interests, but Public Agenda has stepped up to the plate with this report, providing strategies for just that, how to engage with members of communities and convince them to go along with externally imposed so-called turnarounds of their schools. This report completely ignores the evidence that these turnaround strategies don't actually work to benefit communities. In fact, What's Trust Got to Do With It is an ironic choice for a title, since the biggest problem with this report is the author's complete lack of trust in the views of the parents themselves. Read this review at the following website. Last, and very deservedly least, 
is an award we call the Scary Black Straw Man Award. This bunkum goes to the Center for the American Experiment for our immense achievement gap embracing proven remedies while avoiding a race-based recipe for disaster. Using apocalyptic language throughout her report, the author alludes to a train wreck and massive liabilities and a race-based recipe for disaster. Interestingly, the report cloaks itself in concern for the injustice of the achievement gap and then gives readers an equally passionate rejection of initiatives sensibly designed to close it. In fact, the report concludes by embracing a set of proposals that, if they have any effect, would likely make the gap worse. All the while, the report is laced with attacks on busing and mandated desegregation, about which they misrepresent research and suggest that these policies are actually being considered by policymakers, which they are not. This embarrassing and hypocritical report is really what the Buncombe Awards are all about. And for that, at least, we thank the Center for the American Experiment. Read this review at the following website. Throughout the year, NEPC reviews the work of think tanks in the field of education through our Think Twice project. Find out more about all our reports by visiting our website. Thank you for watching.